Okay, okay, it's time. I think we did another 3D printer update. And this time, it's all about the MOSFET, which is why you clipped her in the first place, I suppose. Hmm. Roll the intro. Come with real, it's the next episode. Most of my CAD designs are based around the ability to fabricate using my laser cutter or 3D printers using standard fixings to assemble these. So when a design is completed on the CAD machine, then begins the more enjoyable aspect of producing the components and realizing the CAD work into a tangible product. But that excitement can be quickly dampened when one of these tools breaks down. And yes, I'm talking about my Prusa i3 Mark II, which I originally bought in the hope that this would be a lot more reliable than my previous printers. But this is proving to be not the case. Although it does have the ability to print some of the best quality prints I have ever witnessed, this is mostly in PLA. When pushing the printer to its limits and using ABS or PETG, the heated bed has to work at higher temperatures of between 90 to 110 degrees C, and this can end terribly as has happened to me before, which I have shared in previous episodes. The main issue arises from the heated bed connector attached to the controller board is underrated and can get extremely hot. It seems for the amount of current demanded by the heater bed to reach hotter temperatures, the contact pins in these plugs just don't have enough surface contact area to supply the current and so it results in the terminal pins overheating and eventually resulting in a catastrophic failure, which for me, this has happened twice now. To be fair, I've reached out to Prusa and in the past they've been very helpful and sent replacement plugs and a new board, but the problem is I'm still relying on the same method of connection and therefore restricted to using only PLA. Today, that changes my friends, as we upgrade my Prusa with a MOSFET controller and heat the bed independently from the controller board, hopefully solving the problem once and for all. The MOSFET module I have chosen is the new version with a bigger heatsink and much more substantial connectors and it also has a very cool looking red anodized heatsink. Ooh, lovely. I want to place this in a discrete location but close to the power supply unit, controller board and the heater bed so that all connecting wires are short which will reduce the resistance in the supply wires. It seems logical to place this at the rear and below the heated bed and where there is plenty of open space and ventilation and no prying fingers. Let's jump on the CAD machine and create a means to mount this. I all start with the packaging environment, which in this case consists of the Y carriage studs, a belt tensioner and the MOSFET itself, which doesn't need to be detailed modeling, but more to ensure that all the protrusions and mounting points are accurate. Let's start with modeling the clips that we'll use to attach to the Y carriage studs. Next, we'll need a mountain bracket and the two shall be fixed together using M4 by 10 button head hex screws and recessed M4 slim nuts. Okay, in true rep wrap fashion, let's send this to the Prusa and get these models printed. Two hours later and we have some nice looking parts for assembly and this can be checked for fitment. Now wiring is fairly straightforward, we need to first of all share a 12 volt power supply from the MOSFET to the controller board.
The heater bed output wire will become the signal wire for the MOSFET marked here as bed, which tells the unit to send power to the heater bed. And finally, connect the heater bed to the output supply from the MOSFET marked here as hot bed. And that's about it. Let's print some PETG and ABS and see how the Prusa handles this new setup. To do this, I'll tape this K-type connector to the controller using some Kapton tape and monitor the temperature of the connector during a print. I do believe that this is a marked success and the files are available on Thingiverse as ever. As well as links to the MOSFET I used, please feel free to download this for your personal use for free. But again, if you'd like to leave me a tip, it's always appreciated. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next episode.